This is guidance for strand three of criterion B of the DTIA, where you will justify an appropriate idea for detailed development. In this strand, you're really focusing on justifying your choice for the one design that you are going to develop in criterion C. As I said, you are going to select the one design idea for criterion C. You're going to develop a detailed design and you must select an appropriate idea, validate that idea against your design specifications, and then refine the idea to enable it to be manufactured. Any further iterative development of the idea is included as part of Criterion B, and this further development provides evidence across all three strands. So that's strand one, two, and three. And ultimately, at the end of Criterion B, all aspects of your chosen design idea must be resolved. So all problems with it, all of your ideas of, of how things join together, the materials that you're going to be using, everything needs to be resolved by the end of Criterion B. You also need to present the chosen idea as a presentation drawing that's annotated and highlights the key features of your design. You should focus your extended text in 300 words to justify the selection of the most appropriate design idea. The justification can be derived from iterative design development, concept model testing, user and expert feedback, and its feasibility to solve the problem and meet the requirements detailed in the design specifications. You can use, but you're not limited to a combination of the following methods to justify the selection of your chosen idea. You can compare the idea to the requirements of the design specification, the students should use a scoring system to evaluate the ideas against each other. It is important for students to include written comments that provide details and reasoning behind this, this decisions made on the scoring. This effectively compares the ideas to consider the relative advantage of one design over another. You can do a self-evaluation or expert appraisal with user feedback. The students can engage with potential users or experts in the problems area. There may be situations where the student needs to gain feedback on their designs from both primary and secondary users, those who are part of the target market, those who would purchase it, and the target audience, those who use it. Feasibility can also be looked at, so you can consider the feasibility in terms of effectiveness in solving the problem, the possibility of manufacturer, access to facilities, tools, materials, and other resources, environmental impact, originality, and time available. Justification of the selection of an idea is key to meeting the requirement for higher mark band performance. The following is an example of three levels of performance in the justification of the selection of an idea. The yellow bolded text is stating the features of the design. The blue text is describing what the feature does for the design and what. And the green italicized text is justifying the importance of this, leading to the selection and why. It's important to note that any annotations of more than 10 words will count towards the overall word count. And this is very important. And this is also really important to note. If text is used in a table, and if any of the cells in that table include 10 or more words, all the text in the table will contribute to the overall word count. This is an example of a high performing piece of work in strand three of Criterion B. The student has conducted a self-evaluation of the design, comparing the two most promising ideas at this final stage of development. The student bases decisions on feedback from an expert this is the manager of a bicycle saddle shop and potential users, a group of competitive cyclists. The selection of the chosen design idea is focused on three areas, adjustability, comfort, and aspects re related to the manufacturer. The importance of these key areas is supported through feedback from the user. The justification of the selected ideas having met the requirements is presented in five distinct points. These five points state the features of the idea, describe what the features do, justifies why it is important for the design to be selected. The student presents the selected design to make clear which design is being taken forward for detailed development in Criterion C. 
The main features are highlighted through annotations, which are referred to in the justification. The justification of the choice of the idea for detailed development was supplemented by decisions made throughout the iterative design development, modeling, and testing in Criterion B. This is an example of a medium performing piece of work on Criterion B Strand 3. The student has conducted a self-evaluation of the design comparing the two most promising ideas at this final stage of development. The student has gained a little feedback from users and includes a quote from an expert, the manager of the bicycle saddle shop. There is no identification of the users and how they relate to the design idea. The student uses different terms to state why the chosen idea is selected, resistant, higher quality, complexity, innovation. These terms are general and there is limited justification of why these aspects are important to the selection. Additional aspects are included in the justification against specifications, but they lack specificity. These aspects are justified, for example, the use of padding will give additional comfort to the rider, but the student does not make this explicit link to the importance. The student presents the selected design to make it clear which design is being taken forward for detailed development in Criterion C. The main features are highlighted through annotations. The selection of the idea for detailed development was supplemented by decisions made throughout the iterative design development modeling and testing process in Criterion B. This is an example of a low performance piece of work for Strand 3 of Criterion B. The student has conducted a self-evaluation of the design and compared the two most promising ideas at this final stage of development. The selection of the idea has not been supplemented by feedback from any other stakeholders. The student uses different terms to state why the chosen idea was selected, resistance, higher quality, complexity, and innovation, but these terms are general and there's no justification for why these aspects are important for the selection. Additional aspects are included in the justification against specifications, but there's no specificity and they lack any indications of how that they were determined or why they are important for the design. They are statements without substance. The student presents the selected design to make clear which design is being taken forward for detailed design development in Criterion C, but the main features are not highlighted through annotations and there's no indication of why they are important in the design. The selection of the idea for detailed development was not supported by decisions made through the iterative design and development of this idea in Criterion B.